Katie and I'm here with some tips and information about your Hytron router, plus a few pointers about general internet connection as well. Let's start with the fix of all fixes. Turn it off and back on again. Yes, it's become a running joke in the IT world, but it's also often the ultimate solution. Rebooting your modem, turning it off and on again, refreshes sessions and allows it time to adjust to commands. If you're having any connectivity issues, give this a go first and you might be surprised at just how well it works. Now, let's look at the Hytron's interface. Once you've logged into 192.168.0.1, there are a huge amount of settings available. If you want to change the login credentials on your router, go to Admin, then Management. Just make sure you've memorized your new details, otherwise you'll be forced to do a factory reset. In admin, you can also test your modem's connectivity. Go to diagnostics and perform a ping to Google's DNS server at 8.8.8.8. .8 a response indicates a connection between your Hytron and Google, so you know your service is reaching the modem. To see if it's going through to your LAN, go to a connected computer, open a command prompt and type ping 8.8.8.8. .8 Success shows you have a fully working service. Perhaps you're struggling to get through to a specific website. Still under diagnostics, you can perform a trace route. This will show you the route it's going and where it's failing. If you want, you can do a command prompt on your computer to see the full journey. Just type trace RT followed by the website name. Does the trace route complete or where does it stop? If you can get this information, you are well on your way to diagnosing what's happening. And it's worth taking a screenshot of the trace result for when you speak to us or your IT team. If you need to find the backup feature, this is under admin as well. If you're setting up a LAN, we highly recommend doing this after applying your configuration in case you need it at a later date. The wireless heading holds all of your Wi-Fi settings. You'll need this if you want to turn the Wi-Fi off or on or change your SSID name or password. Just go to wireless, then basic settings and make your changes. Make sure you use the tab shown for 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and don't give them the same SSID name otherwise it won't work. Wi-Fi passwords can be changed under wireless, then WPS and security. You can also change the wireless channel here if you need to. We recommend you use auto, but sometimes you might need to select channels manually, in which case one, six and 11 are the best. Finally, if you're after network information about a specific computer, open a command prompt and type ipconfig to see that computer's IP, plus some other useful information. You can also run pings and trace routes to see the journey and connectivity directly from your computer. I hope this has helped. If you need anything else, why not check our help and support pages or for more information, talk to us on live chat.